नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू मंजुलाज किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग शाही पनीर दिस इज ए वेरी फेस्टिव डिश दिस इज वेरी रिच एंड क्रीमी इन फ्लेवर शाही पनीर इज ए परफेक्ट पार्टी डिश दिस कैन बी सर्व विद एनी इंडियन ब्रेड सच एज नान दिस रेसिपी विल सर्व फोर For this recipe, we need half a pound of paneer, which you can buy from Indian grocery store. I have already chopped them in about three-fourth inch cubes. Two medium-sized tomato, which I have already chopped. One green chili, about one-fourth inch of ginger, twelve cashew nuts, three tablespoon of oil, one teaspoon of cumin seed, jeera. One eighth teaspoon of asafoetida, hing. One bay leaf, sage path. One tablespoon of coriander powder, dhania. One fourth teaspoon of turmeric, haldi. One fourth teaspoon of red chilli powder, lal mirch. Half a teaspoon of paprika or dehi mirch. Half a cup of yogurt, dahi. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt, adjust to the taste. One fourth teaspoon of garam masala, and about two tablespoon chopped cilantro, hara dhania. So first, I am going to grind the cashew nuts into powder. Okay, so let's put the cashew nut here. Close the lid. Okay, this looks ready. and now i am going to puree the tomatoes ginger and green chili okay this took about a minute and this looks ready first i am going to shallow fry the paneer uh, heat is on medium high so i am going to add the oil and just wait few seconds uh, so oil get little heated and now i am going to add the paneer so this should take about 2 minutes yes. we have to fry it until it is started getting light brown color the paneer is uh, ready It has taken me about a minute, so now I'm going to take them out over paper towel so it absorbs all the ex extra oil. Okay, so now I'm going to add the cumin seed, asa patida, and bay leaf. Just stir for few seconds, and I'm going to add the tomato puree. coriander powder turmeric red pepper paprika paprika gives a nice color to the dish let it cook on medium heat uh, till it becomes about half in the volume and you can start seeing the oil the spice mixture is looking really good and it is ready as you see yeah, some of the oil it has started leaving the oil and it smells great now i'm going to add the cashew nuts sugar and yogurt again mix it well and cook for uh, another 2 uh, minutes on medium heat This has been uh, about two minutes, and uh, spices are looking great. Uh, cashew nut powder it uh, helps uh, giving the thickness to the gravy, and uh, it makes it very creamy. 
So now we are going to add the water, about one cup of water. And salt. Let the gravy come to the boil and then we are going to add the paneer. Uh, gravy is boiling and now is the time to add the paneer. Just mix it. Lower the heat to medium. Cover the pan and uh, let it cook for 2-3 to three minutes. Okay, paneer has been cooking for about uh, 3 minutes. It looks really good. You can see all the colors floating. Now I am going to turn off the heat and add the cilantro and garam masala. As soon as you add the garam masala, you can uh, smell. It has a beautiful smell. And just uh, cover it for few minutes before you will serve the shahi paneer. Shahi paneer has a nice aroma of garam masala. Beautiful looking dish, easy to make. Shahi paneer can complement just about any meal. If you make this for a party, make sure you make enough so you don't run out. Enjoy it. Thank you. Till we meet again. Check more recipes on manjalaskitchen.com.